For children's time today, we're continuing down the road with Jesus. I'm going to go back just for a minute to remember where we started. Started not with Jesus, actually, but with visitors to Jesus who, uh, who were the first visitors of the Holy Family. And then we walked down the road and spent some time with Jesus in the synagogue, his first sermon where he proclaimed words from Isaiah, good news to people who are poor and liberty to people who are captives and healing. And then we went down a little bit farther and we, we met uh, not only Jesus, but uh, Peter and James and John, and they became Jesus' first disciples who walked down the road with him to another synagogue where Jesus healed someone whose hand was deformed, and who talked about breaking Sabbath rules about work to heal someone, to do good always on the Sabbath. So today, as we go a little further down the road, my footsteps are getting messier and messier as we go along, we come to a little town. We make some little buildings for our little town. This is a town called Nain, or Nain. We were trying to figure out exactly how it was pronounced before, but it's spelled like that in English. And in this little town, there are many people. And again, here are my little messy people We're in the town. Jesus and his disciples come to this town. And the reason the people are gathered this time is because there's a man who has died. There's this fella. And he is the only son of a woman, the only son of a widow. So she has no husband. She has no other children. And so, of course, she's very, very sad because these are her tears. She's very sad because her son has died. And not only because that she, she is going to miss him and she loved him, but because he was the one who, was, who could take care of her. He was the one who would would make sure that she was okay. He was probably the one who earned the money in her family. And Jesus sees that this is happening, that the crowd has gathered and then that, that this woman has lost her son. Well, Jesus needs a head. Jesus sees this and he comes over to the man and he, he speaks to this dead person, to this man. And he says... rise. So that's what he speaks to this person. And well, what do you think happens? The man does. He gets up. He's no longer dead. He gets up and he speaks. The, the, the story doesn't say what he says, but I'm going to say he says, I'm alive. He speaks and he speaks to the crowd and the crowd sees this and they're so terrified. They're so scared that they see this happening. And I think I would be very, very frightened too if I saw that happening, that someone who was dead became alive. I've seen enough uh, scary ghost movies and zombie movies to know that that might be very frightening, but also miraculous and amazing. So that makes them frightened, but also it makes them, this crowd, this town, Praise God. So everybody is both a little scared, but also they see how amazing this is and they praise God because this man has been returned to her son. Or this man has been returned to his mother, who of course loves him very much and she's very happy. Her tears probably disappear, but maybe she's also a little bit frightened and everybody's wondering what has happened. And because of this, because because they're feeling a little bit scared and also very excited, word about this happening spreads everywhere. They, all of these people in this town, go tell people in other towns all around the area. And word spreads about this amazing thing. Next week, Jesus' journey is going to continue on the road. And I might have to add a page for the next part of the story, but we're going to meet Jesus on a road, but it's a road that goes up a mountain. So that's what we're going to hear about next week is Jesus going up a mountain with his disciples.